All right, welcome back. Game four of this best of five. LGD Forever Young versus Newbie. Game four. LGD Forever Young took game one, took game two. And then Newbie took game three, so... We'll have to see uh, what happens this draft, what gets banned, what they're looking for. And um, if Newbie can continue to climb out of this hole, that is a 2-1 deficit. It's going to be very tough for him and definitely not the easiest of tasks remaining. for LGD or for Newbie to accomplish. So we'll have to see. What really is their goal coming into this fourth game? As the Quap is banned, the Omni Knight out of here as well. Let's see. I mean, LGD Forever Young. They've been looking at lineups that can sustain for a long time, that can really eat their way through. Dyer's ban now. But they haven't been able Here's to do so fan. with that last game, and now they're trying to repeat that lineup. Beastmaster taken out. So now maybe that, you take out that problem, you take out the Winter Wyvern, they take out the Ogre Magi, maybe with that you're able to succeed in the same draft type you've been playing the first two out of three games. There's that third ban of Night Stalker. Dyer's turn to me. Pick up that Afu Earth Spirit so right away LGD Forever Young looking pretty good. Especially when they get that Afu Earth Spirit. We saw that Afu Earth Spirit in the first game. We'll see if it's able to do just as well in this Ten second seconds. game or in this fourth game. It's been that long. Five seconds remaining. So with that Earth Spirit. Leaves open DDC, Super Monet, and Inflame to uh, get their picks up, get their pickups. And Newbie looking to go up against this Earth Spirit again. They didn't deal with it too well the last game, and now they have to deal with it in this game. And it was against the Death Prophet. I'm pretty certain. I honestly cannot remember for the life of me. So now we come into the second pick for Newbie with the Death Prophet picked up. Probably going to be SCCC's hero. So that already takes care of that. And now we get the Oracle. So they're looking for sustain of their own. False Promise was very good for LGD Forever Young. I think that is sort of a pick ban from Newbie. For the fact that LGD played Earth Spirit with the Oracle last time. It worked out very well in their favor. And if they have the Oracle, they know they are not going to be in too much trouble and can sustain the fights themselves. The thing is, there are other options for this. And... OGD Forever Young, they gotta look and see if they can find him. The Dazzle just wasn't enough. But maybe they go for the Ancient Apparition with this Earth Spirit. Although, Newbie, they went for Ancient Apparition against the Oracle, and it was never enough. Also, Faith was missing a bunch of Ice Blasts. Throw out the Lycan. New pick here coming out in this series. Pusher by all means. Beastmaster not available, but now you've got the Lycan. Let's 
We'll have to see if LGD Forever Young want to go with this pushing style lineup. If they go for a nature's profit. If, you know, they go for anything really that could hit towers quickly. The only thing that's on my mind right now is that nature's profit. I have almost no ability to think after seven straight hours of this from, you know, now being 7.30 a.m. Sun is out for me. Silencer banned out. Bloodseeker banned out. And let's see what newbie uh, will to ban out f uh, fifth. Seconds. Five so. seconds remaining. Ah. Ban out that run. sniper, which isn't Dying bad ban. I mean, when you could frontline with Lycan and have sniper in the back, that's really good. Seconds. Sven banned out. They don't want to deal with that constant lockdown from newbie. And right now, they don't really have too much. They have fortune's end. But other than that, I mean, that's like a split second. Not really anything too crazy. Uh, their other support, they might look for Rubik. They could look for Sam King. They look for Slardar. It did work well in that last game, so... Of Avenge is that a Monet Venge? I, I don't know actually. Because you've already got Lycan out there, but you could roll Lycan, I guess, seconds. mid, right? Five seconds remaining. I mean, I guess realistically, you could run him anywhere you damn well please, but we'll have to see. to this fourth pick for the side of newbie. Let's see what they want to do with this fourth pick. They've got their four in Sardar. They've got their five in Oracle. Mid is going to be played by Death Prophet. You need your safe laner. You need your off laner unless you move that Death Prophet around. But I don't think they will. And there's that brew coming out in the off lane. So lock down again with that thunderclap as well as the stun in primal split and the cyclone. So looking okay for newbie. Ten seconds. But again, they gotta be very careful against this LFY side. They've got some lockdown of their own in boulder smash in the fact that they have the magic missile i can can chase you down gets those early necro book creeps there's a lot of early output damage for them and now they've got the tide of fight extender by all means and a amazing offlaner so i think venge might be a five here and they could still be looking for their mid. But they could go Venge, safe lane, or like in mid, or one of the two, Five and tied in the remaining. off lane. But I'm thinking it might be a DDC Venge. So Lena banned out by newbie. Let's see. What's this last ban gonna be from LFY? They're looking for a safe laner, maybe another one with a stun and possibly some pulling. CK would be pretty good for them. 
Um, I don't think Life Stealer would be that great. Monkey King, I don't think would be that great either. And they go with the Dazzle. So that is a core venge. Move over to newbie. Ten seconds. Five seconds remaining. Let's see what they can do. Timbersaw. There's the timber saw. Who's your hero? So timber saw comes out again. This time for Moogie. As SCCC will be on the Death Prophet. They might swap though. For the other side, it's DDC on that Dazzle, Inflame on the Tide Hunter, Monet on the Venge, Super on the Lycan, Afu on the Earth Spirit. And, uh, Faith will be on that Oracle, Kaka on the Sword Arc, KP with the Brewmaster, Moogie holding on to that Timber, and SCCC on the Death Prophet. <clears throat> So two to one for the side of LFY. And we are underway in this game four. Gain back all the confidence I have right now. To earn, or the energy. I'd say not confidence to cast this game right now. It's late. But I'm going to do it. I will do it. And we are ready to go. Mugi on this Timber Saw. You've got the Death Prophet played by SCCC. Right away, a dust comes out on three of these heroes. And it looks as though they're looking to be quite aggressive. We'll have to see what they want to do, and it's going to be four heroes going the way of top. Only one of them is going to have a stunning boulder smash if he takes it, but he's already taken rolling boulder. Might be able to force out the gush on the tide hunter, which would be an advantage against uh, for the safe laner. So Faith comes over, there's the fortunes and charge up, locks him in for just a moment. You've got four heroes here, slithering crush, growing death. And four out of four times, it will be first blood for newbie. Every single time. Seems like newbie just continually get themselves first blood. And well, I guess now that they've won a game, it either goes the right way or it doesn't. Feel like it's gonna be a three for one in terms of bounty runs as Inflame is coming over to the safe lane. Knowing that he can't really go up against that timber saw, he put himself in a lot of trouble. The bounty rune's not there, and I mean he could go for this bounty rune, but it's not gonna be the play, and he is gonna be against Moogie anyway. Moogie's made the way over bottom. That means Tide's gonna be in a pretty Bad lane. Did they get all four runes? No. So let's take a look at how this laning is setting up. Meanwhile, with Kaka coming over. Take a look over mid. SCCC up against Super already. Super, Super is um, getting quite low. They take out Faith in the top lane. Again, you take a look, Moogie here with Kaka. If he gets caught out, Slithering Crush with the Whirling Death, he could be in a lot of trouble, especially once Moogie hits three or four. Gotta be very careful on this Tide for Inflame. They gave him solo safe lane to get a little bit more farm. You take a look over top. 
Nade DDC as well as uh, Afu with this Earth Spirit. So they have, uh, you know, opportunity to line up stuns in Magic Missile and in the Rolling Boulder Boulder Smash. But they have to really look out for that. And you take a look. Now Kraken Shell. Now Anchor Smash for this Tidehunter. Take a look over top, KP getting very low, gonna use that Fairy Fire to survive, but Afu still gets the kill. They got three heroes here to clean him up. Not really much he could do, especially even with the Fortune Zen, wouldn't have been enough. So now two to one in favor of LFY. So they're starting to take a lead here and we're starting to see a little comparison to the first two games. First blood don't matter for newbie, and uh, they just don't care on the side of LFY because they seem to give it up every year. So for this tri lane, I mean, it's pretty effective. You've got level two here. Here comes the rolling boulder. Should follow it up with a boulder smash. That should come in just a moment. That's actually going to push him back into the hands of LFY. Fortune's end locks in three of these heroes, but they're still continuing to chase. Not going to get the kill. He goes through the trees, and now he's going to be able to salve up. So he's okay there. That could have been very, very interesting had he not gotten through those trees look over bottom and tide has gone all the way back to bases actually picked up a salve as well so he's trying to go back to this lane able to sustain able to get himself a couple of levels but he's given up a lot of farm already to the timber saw who you really don't want ramping up Kaka behind you, you're only level 3, 2 in Anchor Smash, so that's pretty nice. But now he's level 4 and still continuing to free farm. Inflame knows that this Kaka Soro has got to be behind him, and there's a stack for Inflame to take. At least try to pull with. So he will actually not get the pull, so he's not going to get even that. He gets hit by the Slithering Crush. Anchor Smash is used. Wait, and then a little bit of Whirling Death comes his way. Super, meanwhile, mid. Spirit Siphon just doing so much damage. Super. Looking like he's going to be forced all the way back to base without any regen. So let's take a look at the rest of this squad. Over top, Afu coming around the back. Just placing a deep lane ward just to watch out for these two heroes. This tree's still down, so it's definitely an opportunity for newbie to run away. No need be. But this was a ward placed on a sentry and immediately taken out. Early lead here for Newbie at about a thousand net worth and actually coming over is going to be Afu. If they can lock in Newbie long enough under this tower, he might be in a little bit of trouble. The creeps have finally taken over the damage and coming back with the salve is going to be in flame. He's got that anchor smash, but Moogie's still sitting here. Now he's going to look to pick off Afu. He's got no rotations coming in just yet. They don't have the Venge. They don't have the Lycan. Just continuing to walk around this tower and Moogie continuing to cut this creep wave. Level 5 already, both these heroes are level 3. They do have the ability to get away from Mugi, I'd say successfully, as we just watched Afu run away. But now you've got Kaka coming around with this slaughter. Slithering Crush will put him in a lot of trouble. Boulder Smash hits onto the Timber Saw. That'll deter Newbie from coming in. Radiant's bottom tower is staggering. Like a drunk sailor. So... Exorcism used immediately as it's got for SCCC, trying to push this tier one over mid. Trying to open up this advantage even more as we take a look at Super, not even level six. Has three in the Wolves, has two in Feral Impulse. Has to try and work with this. He throws the Wolves into the Exorcism, maybe not the best thing. Because you're gonna lose them real quick, but SCCC, under that tower had maybe DDC come a little bit earlier or in flame. They might have gotten the kill. They have one in gush. They, I think I'm pretty sure they have poison touch available to them. But now full back to full with that exorcism coming back in is going to be SCCC. So Spirit Siphon again just continuing to hurt Super from staying in this lane. It's been such a problem for him. 
and you take a look, he's 20 and 3 compared to the doubling of SCCC at 44 and 12. I mean, this CS alone, that's probably what pushed him up towards 1,000 net worth advantage. Who is in touch, just thrown out on KP, just trying to harass him out with that double damage. But under tower, he's going to be fine. Meanwhile, bottom off, we're going to drop Moogie, gets the kill. Now it's 2-2, two to two, and even with just two kills, they have a 2,000 net worth lead. Fortune Zen going to be throwing the way of Monet, and they've got SCCC here. Magic Missile, Wave of Terror, but it's not looking like enough. The Shallow Grave is going to keep Monet alive, but it's not going to keep him alive long enough to get out, and he finally will fall. So Newbie making heavy rotations, and they're also able to get the kills from it. And the good thing for them is the fact that Super is starting to get a little bit of farm. He's found that level 6, and that's really what you need on Super. He needs to get this farm. The more he gets stymied in his lane, the less chance of a flyer going to have in this game. So now DDC still here with Monet, but Newbie's starting to roam around quite a bit. Moogie's taking care of this bottom tier 1. They are, it was denied. They were working on this tier 1 over mid. But finally, Super has an opportunity to farm. Watch as uh, we see a kill over bottom. Most likely, no, nah, it's tied. They're not going to get him even with the uh, Slithering Crush, but they do spot out Kaka. They've got Lycan farming in the jungle and a deep ward placed. They shouldn't know it's there. Level 4 in Wolves and 2 in that uh, Feral Impulse Exorcism again used by SCCC. And there's no response to it. You've got a Tide Hunter here who's running away for his life under his tier 2. Slytherin Crush comes out, but the Kraken Shell is going to purge it. He's still in a lot of trouble. Avoids Moogie for now. Still getting run down. He's only level 4. You take a look over top. There's the Rolling Boulder. Boulder Smash hits on 2, as well as the Geomagnetic Grep. So let's see if he's able to get out. Monet doesn't have that Magic Missile for 2 seconds. And that's going to be enough time for Oracle to leave. Over towards mid, we're going to take a look. Lycan trying to get away, but he uses that ult, and he is going to fall. So it's just 5-4. to four. Another shellacking looking like it's coming out from Newbie. Crazy to see this, and, and I'm not honestly not surprised. I figured this would go to a game five, but LFY they've just turned into a different team. Like they've turned it all off. They they've lost tier ones already. They're getting pushed in. They're down four thousand net worth. Nine minutes into the game, it's just not looking good. Let's take a look over top as you've got SCCC here with Faith and Kate. Nobody here for LFY, which is a good thing. Shapeshift was down. Super. Using that ult as he dies. It just doesn't seem like the super we saw the first two games. So Smoke comes out. DDC. Afu trying to make a play. You take a look over further. Corrosive Haze is out on Monet. There's the magic missile to lock him up for just a moment. And now with the rolling boulder, boulder smash, they'll get at least one. They look towards Moogie, but he's going to be a tough sell to get a kill on. They've got the magnetize out on him as well. If they can re-get it, it might be good enough for him. It's not going to get re-put on him as they get the swap and not much damage to really take him out either. Over top, let's take a look. In flame here, no ravage. Went 1-1-3. One, one, Which... To me, it is very interesting. Not taking that Ravage, but I guess he doesn't see his team fighting. At least too early. So, let's see. Super, with these level 4 wolves, is able to farm pretty quickly. And that's what he's looking to do. He knows he's behind. Had to max out those wolves. Really make up on this deficit. 3,400 net worth. 900 behind his own Venge. And uh, 2,400 behind that Death Prophet, who's had such a good start. SCCC has the medallion, has the Yules ready to go. And that's followed up by this Timbersaw Moogie. 
It's already looking for that bloodstone. Just continue to push on forward. Over top, they've made their way through. Tidehunter is going to be able to TP out, but you take a look over bottom again. There's the Corrosive Haze out on Monet. Or actually, no, it's out on both of them. Okay. The thing about this is LFY have opened up a little bit of space. They've got this Vlad's now on Super. Maybe they could start to fight a little bit. They're going to be looking for this Necro 3 as quickly as they can get it. And with these level 4 wolves, they should be able to farm up well with Super. Problem is, he just cannot get caught out. He doesn't have the time to afford getting caught out at all. We'll take a look over. There's the, the swap with the Geomagnetic Crypt. Magic Missile with the Gush. They get the kill. And it's even at 5, but still a 4,000 net worth deficit. like they're gonna take this tier one through the glyph or not through the glyph after the glyph that makes more sense and they will and this is exactly what lfy need but oh my god Ooh, great farm already with this bloodstone we'll see if it works out better than it worked out for sccc i mean he played that timber saw didn't end up winning with it Lost those Bloodstone charges very early, and it just was not a good game for him on that Timber Saw as a whole. They're ready with that swap. They know it, it looks like a bait. It smells like a bait. It must be a bait, and it is a bait. trying to swap in anything that's going to be too hard for them to really fight through, especially with the fact that their Lycan is not with them right now. And Kaka on the side, getting the Corrosive Haze onto Monet. They're actually thinking about heading into Roche with this Exorcism. Ravage is available. They don't have a blink to close that gap, and I don't know if they're going to be able to close the gap with Mugi just standing still. The weave coming through. Roche getting very low. Primal Split is there. Afu trying to make some plays. He snatches the Aegis. How does he do it every single time? Gets the Magnetize out on a couple of these heroes. I mean, he snatches the Aegis, which is a good thing. It's a silver lining where they're not going to be able to push it. Faith getting very low. A nice Ravage on a bunch of these heroes. Two are dead. SCCC is going to die as well. Moogie in a lot of trouble. There's three heroes here to surround him. They've got the swap available. They're going to put him in between all these heroes with the Magic Missile. They'll get the kill. Four go down on the side of Newbie. And it's a double kill for Monet. Afu, every single time I watch him, is always making plays. It's just so insane. His Earth Spirit is just too good. Is under so now only a 2,000 net worth lead. And LFY, they gotta feel good off of that one after what was a very piss poor performance in the laning stage. They're starting to get it back a little bit. So let's take a look. You've got the Venge. Mask of Madness ready to go. Looking for the Manta style next. Tide, he's got... You know, he could save for Greaves or go for the Blink. Uh, the Tide we saw last, it was... I'm pretty sure it was in flame the last time we saw it. It was Ags after Mech and Arcane Boots. And then, uh, then he finally picked up Guardian Greaves and went with the uh, point. But they're going to look to get Moogie. Moogie in a lot of trouble. Timber Char Chain far away. One shot at that Courier. Not going to get the kill. So they use Magnetize there. They don't even get Moogie. He's able to really heal himself up. Thanks to this oracle, thanks to the shrine. And now he might even turn it around. 
going to look to re-engage here. They don't have Magnetize, but if he's not too careful, a lot of LFY are just waiting in the side for him. Again, this is still opening up time for farm to come through for these LFY heroes. You've got Super farming up, looking for that Necro 3. He's almost got enough for the level 2. The movie are looking to be the aggressors. They've got four heroes smoked up here. Wolves coming through. Not going to spot anything. The scans from both sides are going to be whiffs. Over top, Tidehunter all by his lonesome self with the rest of the team coming, but no stun for Moogie, no kill for Moogie. A little bit of Moogie in this inflamed Tidehunter. So he gets the boogie on out of there. Still. LFY just continuing to farm up, which is what you want to see if you're rooting for LFY. If you want to, see, if what you want to see from newbie is, then maybe pressure a little bit harder. And obviously they went for that smoke, but newbie, they've been tamed down for the last couple of minutes. LFY looking to play it safe, slow, farm up, look for those couple of items they need to know they can confidently take a fight. Behind him is Kaka with the Corrosive Haze. Gush is going to slow him up. Mugi looking ready. Blink with the Slytherin Crush. Weave comes out on two of these heroes. Timber Chain to the side. They still are not able to kill off in flame. He's got Ravage ready to go. They got to be very careful about engaging on this Timber Saw. the gush Mugi slowed up let's see if they're gonna look to chase Link Slytherin crush that'll hit onto this this tide hunter again they're still pushing him back he's got the team right behind him ready to go everybody's got their ult except for this uh dazzle but still moving forward he's gonna be newbie they finally get that silence and in flame waiting on this ravage for so long very deep in the base is moogie not going in on anybody just yet he's got the shallow grave thanks to ddc let's take a look over bottom actually as afu is here with the lycan primal split's gonna be used kaka gonna go down they're still trying to run away they get the stun out super he's gonna come back to normal in just a moment meanwhile tidehunter dead in the top top lane they don't have lycan to go back just yet Super, he's stuck here for so long. They're starting to look to take tier threes. Death Prophet gets another kill. SCCC with another. Exorcism starting to rain havoc onto this tier three. 10 to 8 in favor of LFY. Moogie and SCCC still hit away at this base. There's the magic missile. And he's got a little bit of minus armor on him, but he doesn't quite care. Moogie. Getting out just yet. There's the magic missile poison touch. Timber chain away. TP to Shrine if they wanted to be aggressive. End up using Ravage. Didn't work out for him though. That was as I was watching that Lycan over bottom. Ten to eight, four thousand net worth lead here for newbie. Already taking a tier three over top. This is bad news for LFY. They just don't know how to deal with this right now. Newbie, ah, through to the high ground. I'm not sure what he's really aiming for in that. Maybe just a little bit of vision. You've got Monet coming through. Almost finished up with that Manta style has the Yasha Mask of Madness and for that talent has taken that 15 magic resistance didn't seem to help him in that last engagement Kaka right under the nose of Super doesn't even know it and this is the team starting to rotate to take out this Lycan Super's gonna be in a lot of trouble he does have that shapeshift ready to go Again, 
LFY. Kind of playing it safe, not looking to be the aggressors. They know they don't really have the opportunity to do so at the moment. Got the Necro level 3 ready. Do ward a little bit. Coming down over bottom is going to be KP and Moogie. There it is. There's your thunderclap. He's gonna use that shapeshift to try and get away. The chakram is out. He's trying to hit KP, or maybe just try and make some distance, using those wolves to slow him up and runs himself away. TP started. TP stopped. You take a look over mid. This is gonna become a problem as SCCC has the spirit siphon. This is gonna be a shallow grave, but Yule's up. Monet gonna be in a lot of trouble. Gonna end up falling. Continuing to push on forward. There's the Thunderclap with the Primal Split. Moogie deep into this base with the Timber Chain gets the kill. That's two dead on the side of LFY. You take a look even further. There's a third. They'll take out Afu. They're taking the base. They're taking everything in their path. There's no way to stop them right now. There's just nothing there to stop them. No answers from LFY. They'll take this set of racks over top. And it's now 11 to 10 with what looks to be an 8,000 net worth lead for the side of Nubi. <clears throat> so again, LFY have put themselves in this deficit where they're all of a sudden just down 10,000 net worth. It looks like they have the better draft in theory, but where it did, kind of. I guess this timber cell is just going off. Their waning was terrible. Their fights have been mediocre at best. Except for the Roche one. Just seemingly now, it's like a newbie outdraft of LFY. There's the swap. Faith gonna get killed off very quickly. DDC's gonna get credit for that one. Retreating is newbie. LFY, this is a desperation push, knowing Exorcism's down. Got Shapeshift to try and take this tower. Here comes Moogie with the weave. It's going to give extra armor to both the Tide as well as the Venge. And I think they get on the Lycan. Timber Chain all the way in deep. Boulder Smash going to stun up that Brewmaster. Moogie trying to get away with the Timber Chain as well as the Waning... Uh, not Waning Rift. The uh, Rolling Death onto a couple of these heroes. Timber Chain thrown forward with the Chakram. Retreating is LFY. They have the Ravage ready to throw if they want to turn this around, but they don't have Shape Shift. They don't have really much more to go with it. Blink, Slither, and Crush. Afu's going to die. They've taken out one as they continue to just run and run and run, and there's no answer for it. Keep on forward. There's the exorcism. Weave is going to be out on three of these heroes, stunning up Moogie. But really, what are they going to do? Inflame just seems so hesitant to throw this rat ravage like he doesn't want to go for anything. Cycloned up, still not going in just yet. They'll take that tier three exorcism, starting to hit away at these racks. Got all five heroes up with Afu ready to go, but Cyclone again, there it is. Not able to get that Ravage off. Monet's gonna get hit with the Shallow Grave. He's gonna survive for now. The BKB used by SCCC. You take a look over top. Afu's gonna drop. He's dead for 35 seconds. He doesn't have buyback. Meanwhile, the Ravage is only out on SCCC with the Yules. He's gonna avoid it. So he's not even gonna be taken out. He's got the Spirit Siphon out on two. And the Slytherin Crush comes through on the shapeshifted like and who can't do anything but watch his entire base, his entire team. Start to drop. Monet, he just got back. He's going to swap his DDC. Dazzle into death. Well played, well played. It's continuing to come on forward. As Cape, he's making the move. He make, he's making the plays. Moogie getting low, but he's not going to die. And there's the Thundercloud coming in from KP. And he is slowing down this entire side of LFY to try and defend this base. Kaka in Blink, Swither and Crush out on three. Moogie, Chakram with it. Timber Chain, they finally take him out. Now let's see if they can turn it around as they get the retreat. The Geomagnetic Grip is going to come out on the Slardar. Kaka, he's looking and ready to blink in Slytherin Crush for some more. Actually turn it around and in retreat for now. They take out a tier 3. They take out a melee racks 14 to 12, but 11,000 net worth lead for new B. So really LFY again. Another game where they're just searching answers and have no idea what to do. See, 
Bring me back up. Back to 12 bloodstone charges. Swap action, and there's the magic missile, but the four staff forward. Thank you, Kaka. That's going to get me out. And now they're going to try and fight into this, but they don't have Ravage. Got the shape shift already used, and there's the Chakram hitting away. Inflame not going to have anything to really make something happen. They've got the magic missile coming through. They'll take out one of the Sardar. Mookie trying to do a little bit of damage. The exorcism comes out by SCCC. The primal split as well. So these ults are big. These ults are large from Anubi, and they're trying to chase down a bunch of these heroes. Afu trying to get away, but he's going to be cycling up. He's not able to find himself out. The Yules is going to be through onto Inflame. He's going to die. SCCC is on a killing spree. DDC looking like he's going to drop. There it is. Another cycling back to reality is KP, but back to reality is DDC onto the ground and dead again. So there's two kills going the way of LFY. I think they're going for Roche. There it is. The start of taking this rush. All five heroes here for the side of newbie. Back a little bit. There's a wolf spotting it out. Afu. Faith setting up in a pretty good spot to stop that rolling boulder. Blink, Swithering, Crush, onto Super, onto Momine. Afu trying to make a move. They're trying to take out this Roche, but he's not going to survive long enough to snatch the Aegis. It's actually going to be killed off by this Radiant side. They'll get the snatch for SCCC. Faith getting a little bit low, but he's okay. It's down to 4v5, and now it's going to be a 4 on 4. They're taking out the Oracle. They're going to look for more. The swap back in. KP's going to drop, so they've taken out two on side of Newbie. You look for more, you look for Moogie, but Moogie's a hard target to kill, and he is running away with that Timber Chain. The Magic Missile comes out, you've got the Shape Shift looking for the kill on Kaka, but he has to avoid that Slytherin Crush, otherwise he's going to die to Moogie. Yules comes through from SCCC on the Monet, and now the Timber Chain across the bow, as well as this Whirling Death. This is going to be the Shallow Grave to keep him alive for just a moment, but it's not going to keep him alive long enough. And there he is, the Crypt Storm is going to hit, the hit Crypt Storm is going to get a kill. Super running away, but he's got the Curse of Haze, a nice double... A uh, boulder smash as well as a geomagnetic grip to get super some space, but the timber chain is just too long with the chakram. Should be a kill. Whirling death, another one for the side of newbie. Radiance middle barracks have fallen. So 19 to 16. And they will start on this bottom tier three. They have exorcism up in five. No liking for 50. And Venge. 20 seconds until Monet is back up if they can even make anything happen. You're TPing right on to a timber saw. I don't exactly know your reasoning, and now you're going to be silenced up thanks to SCCC. He's got the exorcism coming around the back. He's going to be in flame. He doesn't have a ravage for 70 seconds. They've already lost Afu. What can he really do? The BKB is going to be popped on SCCC. They take him out. That'll stop the exorcism, but he's got a second life. Moogie's still standing there. Moogie's still doing a lot of damage. Now they're going to have to use that shallow grave onto the tide under. He's trying to TP away at low health, but now with SCCC back up, it's going to be a Yule. It's going to be a Crypto gonna be a kill and he's gonna immediately buy back Monet DDC in flame up against the world what can they really do are they gonna be able to stop them from getting this tier 3 and the mega creeps we'll have to see as SCCC lands a double silence on to both, uh, both the Tidehunter in flame as well as DDC on this dazzle it's gonna be a kill on Monet they no longer have this Monet Venge as they're gonna try and look towards Super but Super's in a lot of trouble trying to run himself out SCCC's gonna have that duels the Slither and Crush comes through they'll get themselves another kill on a Super no he's too fast GG's already called. It doesn't quite matter. 16 to 22, 16 to 23, and it is over. We're going to a game five. <sighs> Still do this at eight in the morning. Newbie takes game four. Are we surprised? Did I tell you? Did I tell you? What'd I say? It's going to game five when it was 2-0. I said it at 2-0. It's going to game five. And no, it's going to be LFY 3-0. That's what you guys said in chat. I know this league, dude. I've been doing it for years. Newbie gets the win. They dominate again. LFY stomped again. All of a sudden, they're flip-flopping on who's good and all this. And now, Newbie have themselves one game away after calling themselves out from a 2-0 deficit. So, <clears throat> guess we'll be back in just a moment with Game 5. They don't want me to sleep. I haven't slept yet. 
and uh, we'll be going into our eighth hour of casting. You know, LGD Forever Young up against Newbie Game 5 coming up next. I'm your caster, Bcop, at BKOP92 on Twitter. Be back in just a moment. Thank you guys for watching. Any and all criticism is always appreciated. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 